basically, uh, simply put, a short sale is basically where when you have a situation where somebody is behind on payments of a property, uh, what they do is they, along with their agent, and I'm referring to the state of California, um, negotiate a sale that is short of what it is they owed against the property. So this is a scenario. Let's say, for instance, you owe $300,000 on the property. You're behind 15 grand on payments or 10 grand on payments or whatever the case may be. Um, you go back to the bank and you negotiate a price that is short of what is of what is owed against the property. So let's say, for instance, you negotiate a short sale of two seventy five. The bank can either approve it or not approve it. That is their decision. So I want to talk today about the power of short sale. And so when you have short sales, there's a lot of agents that like to shy away from those types of deals. And I'm going to tell you that <laughs> it definitely takes time, it takes patience, it takes um it takes a lot of different things, but in the end it can be extremely extremely rewarding because a lot of the short sales that are negotiated um the bank goes ahead and knocks off a principal balance that could be very attractive to a end investor who can go ahead, turn around, buy the property and turn around and then sell it uh, for either a cash sale that can go ahead or can go ahead and buy and uh, hold it and rent it out or whatever it is they want to do with it. So with a short sale, there is something uh, within a short sale referred to as a BPO, BPO, that stands for Broker Price Opinion. That is where uh, the bank hires a third party, which is either an agent, uh, typically it's an agent, a licensed individual, or a company, or what have you. Um, that's where this bank goes ahead and hires someone to go ahead and go out and give an opinion of value. I used to refer to them as many appraisals because back in 2000 from 2008 to 2011 I've probably done anywhere in the ballpark of about three to four thousand BPOs and I'm gonna give you a little secret when it comes to dealing with short sales um, <clears throat> in, for, in foreclosure investing or real estate investing the short sale lives and dies with the BPO, the broker price opinion. That is an opinion of value. As an investor, what you really want to do, if you really want to speed this process up, is this. You want to contact um, other listing agents that have short sales, but you want to ask them a specific question because you want to close quickly. Um, you want to ask them um, when they, if they have the shorts, they have the listing. You want to contact listing agents. So what you want to ask them is this. You want to ask them if they have the short sale approval letter. This is the letter that is issued to listing agents when the bank says, okay, we'll sell it for this price. That is the key that unlocks the door. That is what every investor is waiting for okay, in buying a short sale. They're waiting for something called or referred to as a short sale approval letter. This letter says, okay, we're Bank of America. We have a loan against this property. Okay, this property has a loan amount on it of $300,000. All right, we'll go ahead. We'll sell it for one eighty five. dollars We'll sell it for 205. We'll sell it for 260. Whatever the amount says, whatever that short sale approval letter says, 
That is what the price will be. Now, this is the key. You have, I think it's up to 60 days, 60 to 90 days to close that deal within the frame that they that they give you the okay with the short sale approval letter. So let's say it's May 3rd, 2017. You have until July 3rd, 2017 to close that deal. That's 60 days. I'm not 100% clear on that. I'm pretty sure it's either 60 or 90 days. I'm thinking it's 60. And having done a lot of these, I remember back in the days, it was 60 days. You had 60 days to go ahead and close this deal. If you did not close that deal within 60 days, basically the deal was considered off the market or you couldn't close it. Um, the bank said pretty much no, because it fell outside of these lines. And so what you have to have is you have to have an agent that can negotiate an extension, pretty much something, somebody that's knowledgeable about short sales. And so let me recap. If you are an investor, a cash investor that wants to move on short sales quickly, what you want to do is talk to listing agents that have the short sale approval letter. Just because you have a short sale, that doesn't mean anything. If the listing agent has a short sale, what they need is they need a buyer to agree to this particular price so that they can go ahead and take it back to the bank and say, hey, you know what? I have a buyer. They want to buy it at this price. And what I mean by short sale approval letters, the only way you get those is if you're an agent that has a listing and you have had a buyer that has basically fallen out of escrow for whatever reason. This is golden because this is an opportunity for cash investors to develop relationships with real estate agents who have short sales. So let's say, for instance, you find 10, 15 agents, all of which have a short sale, a short sale listing. What you want to do is contact them, let them know, hey, I want to move on properties that have the approval of banks. The reason I say that is this. If you don't have that short sale approval letter, that short sale, I've seen short sales take three months, six months, nine, a year. Short sales can be a headache. So obviously this applies to people to areas that are going through the a hard time right now. I don't know what area you live in. Okay? I don't know what 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 state what what area you live in at this point. Um are they getting hit with foreclosures right now? If so, understand this. That is an opportunity. That's not something to run away want to run away from. That's something to run towards. But you're looking to close deals quickly. With this short sale approval letter, there are a ton of these out there, guys. And how the listing agents get them is they have had somebody already in escrow that has fallen out of escrow. You want to go after the short sale approval letter if you're going to go ahead and close quickly. This is the key to closing these deals ASAP. So once again, the deal if you want a high equity deal or whatever that is, deals with a lot of money, a lot of equity, the BPO has to come in at a price that is favorable to the real estate investor. So in other words, real estate foreclosures or short sales, they live and die with the BPO. Trust me on this. I've seen so many agents, excuse, I've seen so many investors get frustrated, I've seen so many agents get frustrated. And the one thing that they have to understand is as an agent, you can't necessarily put weight. You can't necessarily influence the person doing the BPO, but you can probably send them some comps. Okay. Um, you can send them what it is they need. You know, I, that's a gray area and you got to be careful of that as well. Okay. But once again, you can win with short sales. 
if you go after properties that have the short sale approval letter. Thanks a lot, guys. This is just a tip. Have a good one.